the 13th, Ahunanya, coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada. This is going to be a 12-round war. Entering the arena first from the blue corner is Friday Ahunanya. A very active fighter. He has a lot of skills. He can do anything he needs to to win, but look out for that left hand. That is his big weapon. What's interesting, Lana, is this is the first time he'll come into a fight as something of an underdog, and we'll see how he handles that. And the reason he is an underdog is about to take center stage. They call him Mount Whitaker. That is Lance Whitaker from Los Angeles, California. Six foot seven, 267 pounds with a 79 inch reach. He can deliver the body shot like no one else. That is his big punch. Doesn't matter who's in the ring with him. Doesn't really prepare to knock anybody out. It just presents itself. But as big as he is, as strong as he is, not tough really to get the knockout. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome Warriors Boxing Promotions Incorporated in association with the Seminole Tribe of Florida, Solid Events, and the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino proudly present the Thunder and Lightning Live World Championship Boxing coming to you from the Florida State Fairgrounds Entertainment Hall in sunny, beautiful Tampa, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, these fights are under the sanctioning body of the Florida State Boxing Commission. Your chairman, Eduardo La Casa. Your vice chairman, Don Bowen. Your commissioners, Barbara Aguirre, Elvin Enton, and Dr. Donald Perry. Your executive director is Chris Meffert. Your attending ringside physicians are as follows, Dr. Stanley Simpson and Dr. Robert Baltuck. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's fights will be three knockdown rule is in effect. Your timekeeper at the bell is Miss Phyllis Gary. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Tampa, Florida, are you ready? Here we go, 12 rounds for the NABA and NABO Heavyweight Championship. Before we get things started, I first must introduce to you the supervisor from the NABA, Mr. Sebastian Martinez, and your supervisor in charge from the NABO, Mr. Luis Perez. Ladies and gentlemen, the man in charge of the action when the bell rings, your referee, Jorge Alonso. All right, fight fans, here we go. 12 rounds for the NABA and NABO Heavyweight Championship. And here are your principles. First, fighting out of the corner to my right, he hails from Port Harcourt, Nigeria, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He tipped the scales at 229 fighting pounds with a professional record of 19 victories and only two defeats, 17 big victories, coming by way of knockout tonight. He stands in the blue corner, wearing black trimmed in white, introducing the Nigerian nightmare, Friday the 13th, Anhunyanya. <laughs> His opponent stands opposite in the corner to my left, hailing from Los Angeles, California, and weighing in at a large 267 pounds. He has a professional record of 26 victories with only three defeats, two draws, and 14 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is currently the number eighth ranked professional by the WBA and ranked number nine by the IBF. Introducing, wearing the red trunks trimmed in white, Let's Mount Whitaker! Here is referee Jorge Alonso with your last minute instructions and a correction, the three knockdown rule is not in effect. Guys, we gave you the instructions in the dressing room earlier tonight, all right? Let me remind you, obey my commands, protect yourself. I want to expect a clean fight from both of you. Any questions from this corner? Any questions from this corner? Touch him up, tomato the bell. 
Jorge Alonso giving the final instructions before we get underway. And you take a look at these two fighters. A big height advantage for Whitaker. Also in the weight and the reach. How can Friday win? Well, the guy is aggressive. He counter punches with the best. And he is no slouch in there. Friday Ahunanya on the left of your screen. First thing off the bat, you see these guys come in dry. You don't like that? No, I, I had a bad experience with that one time. What happens when you don't work out too much backstage? You come, you come in the ring and you're cold. You know, you have to work up a sweat and get loose and get comfortable. Otherwise, you can get nailed. Yeah, like I did when I fought Dayton Tua. Now one of the knocks on Whitaker also then, he does not start out quickly enough, but also, he tells me that if you watch him moving, watching bobbing and weaving and throwing those jabs like he is, he is ready to go. Ironically, in his last fight against Dal Cole, he reversed that reputation by coming out and using the jab, and it was the best that we had seen from Whitaker ever over a five-round sustained period, and then he was not able to keep it going, but it was a different look for Lance Whitaker, a guy that once weighed 280, and when he fought Ray Austin was disappointed he got a draw. This is a guy that they've been waiting for him to make a move, and uh, this is a chance to see if he will. Ahunanya has done very little up to this point. And perhaps each knows maybe they'll use this as a, a workout warm-up round. Well, one thing he has done is he's looked at Mount Whitaker and sized up his reach disadvantage and he's trying to calculate what that will mean as he fires that hook. Hey, Ahunanya has had uh, three wins in a row after uh, a draw against Terrence Lewis. This is a step up for him and an opportunity. He could use that step up <laughs> against Lance Whitaker. I think this is a test for both fighters, you know, taking a step. Two fighters come from the Warriors boxing gym and uh, under the promotion of the Warriors. Watch that elbow, watch that elbow, Friday. And also these two guys have the reputation on the line. You know, the heavyweight division is wide open, as they say, and these two can be right in the picture, one of them. So you're thinking Friday should uh, jump on a trampoline to fire that hook and get up there and <laughs> close off the, the distance. Now, in terms of impact, a win would be bigger for Ahunanya because Whitaker already has been on some type of a world stage and he's expected to get back there, but Ahunanya could get gigantic leaps if he would be able to pull this one off. A lot of soaking in of information right now. I've never seen Lance start off this fast. Uh, Lance is normally a slow starter. And seeing him being so, uh, starting off this fight quick because Friday's pressuring him. Maybe he's gonna throw him off his game. Second fight in a row right. that uh, he's done this. Al Cole, who was a uh, lighter weight fighter relatively coming up, uh, forced him to use a lot of speed in that uh, fight that would have gone those rounds early. Not a lot of landing of punches. Ahunanya trying to finish things off and get the judges' attention. Round number one. It's a long fight ahead. The end of round one scheduled for 12. Into the corner with Lance Whitaker. That was like a warm up round to a feeling out round. And you're right, they, they just needed to break a sweat to, to get things to move forward, Michael. You take a look with Whitaker on the outside, missing with the right hand as Ahunanya came in there and is able to get something going toward the end of the round. And I think the second round will be a far different story. And there's Friday going inside, working the body pretty well. And he did land a good right hand there. Whitaker saying, not much to that. It wasn't enough to take the round, though, I, I don't think. I, I don't know. Yeah, Almost a throwaway back. even round right there. He may not have won the round, but he won the replay. He won the replay, indeed. Round number two. Again, the NABA and also NABO heavyweight championship on the line. Whitaker, push the push the NABA right. title holder. He'll get a bonus if he wins. You see Lance throwing that right hand, chopping it, being such a big man like that. You know, Michael, as you look at Friday coming in on Lance, what about Whitaker's posture, and does he get enough on his punching leverage? He's such a big guy, you would think more power would be coming from him. You would think, I, th I think if Lance knew how to 
put his body into the punches and twist his, twist his torso into him, it'd be a different fight because Lance is a big guy, but big guy doesn't mean that you're going to be that strong. Lance throws arm punches, and maybe that's why people who fight him start off fast because they see he's so big and he can't carry the weight. Maybe, maybe not. But that's why they may want to start off fast. Because he's so big. Don't push, don't push and they work with him and get more power from him based on what he presents? Well, if someone would work with him just to sit him down and make him twist on his punches, because they're all arm punches. See how he has his hand wide open? As you throw that punch, you have to close that fist. Ahunanya touts himself as one of the better counter punchers that you will see. He has not had a lot to counter so far in this round and a half. Maybe that takes him out of his game. That, the fact he's backing up and trying to work on the inside, I mean, it's countering is one thing, but when a guy is so tall, watch the elbow, watch the elbow. you avoid the countering because you can't get the same opportunities as if you were the same height. All right, let's go into the corner of Lance Whitaker and Pat Goose. And Pat, you like what you see so far from Lance. the shorter man, Ahunanya, on your right, leaping to get the right hand in, and he'll tie up, and you see that the smaller man has to do so much to try and get a punch in, and Whitaker easily able to just move his head and get out of the way and keep a punching posture. Ahuananya understood the gravity of tonight's situation, trying very hard, very hungry for this fight against Lance Whitaker. Round number three, Whitaker, the bigger man on the right of your screen, the champion, Ahuananya on the left, trying to take it away. Lance is fighting a good fight because he's keeping Ahunanya on the end of his punches and keep him at a distance where Friday can't come in. Because once he comes in, Lance is going to probably try to pop shot him. And you can take a look at Ahunanya with that up jab. It really has to do a lot to get at Whitaker, and that's why a height and reach advantage is such a tangible weapon. And look at that, Michael, the way Whitaker was punching, and he was flat-footed. Lance is just so awkward it's because the, the, his style is he can't, look, he's throwing the right hand as a chop and throwing it down. Slapping still with it. Right. And I don't understand that. Someone just has to teach him how to keep his balance because he's going southpaw. He's staying in orthodox stance, oh, chopping his punches right. as he's coming to the head. Does he look fluid when he throws his punches? But he looks fluid because his arm, it's all arm oh, punches, right. and it's going to make him look fluid. balance is his right hand, his right foot comes up after the right hand. Angle, angle, angle. Someone punch in between those punches they want to catch him. That can hit. And that has been a big success right there for Ahunanya. That short left right through the guard of Whitaker, popping Whitaker's head back. 
And Whitaker shied away from Ahunanya the first time he did that. Ahunanya started to get bolder as he believes he's figured out a way to make Whitaker miss him. And then he can turn into position to get his offense going. As he's keeping him close to ground and taking more chances. Big right hand lead from Ahunanya. As the bigger fighter, Whitaker certainly has that advantage just to be able to plod forward, but he needs to be effective in that method as well. And right now he has not been. But sometimes you can just bully your opponent. Ahunanya trying to be that bully on the inside. And look at that right here. That's the second time he got through with that. And let's observe that as a potential storyline in this fight and see if he's able to get back and do more of it. Friday to an excellent overhand right and followed back with a good left hook. I don't think that Lance Whitaker has done enough to counter those punches in the judge's mind so far here in the third round. Closing seconds of the third round. He knows what he wants. Counter punch from Ahu Nanya, the best round of the fight for the fighter from Las Vegas. Friday, Ahu Nanya. Starting to get a hold of you a little bit. Okay? You gotta start. You gotta start turning on those punches, man. Okay. You know what I mean? from round number three you talked about the arm shots from Whitaker and there it is he's not sitting down on his punches he fires it with his arms leaves himself open and there will allow Friday Ahunanya to leap up and get him you saw what the small fighter has to do that shot might have been blocked but the second one gets through and that's why you keep on punching even after your first one is blocked Round four scheduled for 12, this heavyweight championship fight coming to you from the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa, Florida. Uh, McCarron along with Dave on Tempo and Michael Moore. I think Friday's found a, a home for that good left hook. Mm -hmm. And you can see it on Lance's face. His left eye is kind of red on the outside. Yeah, I'm just going to mention that. He had a little trouble going back there, and they were looking at it. Hunanya has set up shot closer to Whitaker in the beginning of this round. If he stays out of the corner, he has a better place to operate from than to counter. Oh, Hunanya, being the much smaller fighter, doing an excellent job of staying out of range. And yet staying close. Nice subtlety that he's been able to master there. And he's fighting with a lot of confidence as far as where he should be no, hold it, no, hold on the it. canvas. Setting up shot nicely, moving to the side, and he's closer. Maybe by about a step and a half of where he was in the opening round. Talk about something how you figure that out suddenly during the course of the fight. Oh, yeah, you do, because you try to find your range of punches. Oh. And you create a distance. Like Lance was creating the distance, but Friday got around that, that distance part because he kept him on in those punches. Now see, Lance just threw a right hand and brought his, his right foot up. That's an amateur move. And I'm not trying to say anything derogatory towards Lance, but I mean, he's a big guy. In boxing, people like big guys. And they, they want to see him knock people out. But I don't think you can be able to knock people out like that when you don't have a good balance like that. Let's go back to, to Pat Goosen in Lance's corner. And Pat, we need to, we, we would think you need to get more out of your guy. Well, I, I'm trying to. I. Our plan was to have this other kid blow off some steam, but not that much. Um, he's got to start going the body. He's got to put some more oomph behind his punches. He's slapping right now. We've been working on that for months. Michael's mentioned that the, the punches are a little bit in the, the slap variety than the closed fist variety. You're seeing that. He ain't lying. Hey, Pat, this is Dave Pontempo. Yes, Dave. What does he have to do to get his leverage going here and, and to follow up on what you guys have done in the gym? Well, all I can do right now is get into his psyche. But tell him he's got to open up, or is he going to lose his fight? He's got to do. He's got to open up like that. Well, bring him up, he's bring got him muscle. Up, bring him up now. He can fight. He can throw punches. You're doing it in the gym. 
for some reason it's kind of zoned out right now. I don't know what's going on. All right, Pat Goosen, thanks sure. very much, and we'll be back with you as the fight progresses. And it does seem to be a bit of a lethargic Lance Whitaker that he's trying to manage there in the ring right now. He has not tried to use his bulk advantage to his advantage so far. And move the smaller Friday Ohonanya around. Ohonanya now learning that the end of the round is his time to come alive. And again, he does that. Put great punches together. Great combination. <laughs> See the redness, uh, the left eye of Lance Whitaker there. Ain't like you're gonna get a second chance. Do or die. You gotta let the chips go. You can have more confidence in yourself. You did better. You gotta let those punches go. The way you worked up at the gym, okay? Same thing you did the gym. What's so fucking hard about that? You should not hear. Okay? Please tell me right here. Please tell it right here, everybody. They'll open it up. They'll open everything up. You ain't it one time, man. Let's give it one time. Let's try it. Wrap it around. But wait, not too late. Over to Friday Ahunanya's corner. The scene is a little more calm. Bring it up, bring it up. Right up. Right up. Steal them around. Good job. Let's go. Let's go, Red. Let's go. That tells you right there what's going on in this fight. Just listening to the corner men. Beginning of round number five, scheduled for 12. Hey, you talk about Ahunanya getting closer and able to score counters. And for Lance Whitaker, we've seen this in fights before where he gets into a cruise control, sort of into a zone that Pat Goosen was talking about, and he's in a comfort zone. They can't get him out of it. If you motivate him, he jumps up that level, but he doesn't get there by himself. He took confidence from that left uppercut right there that landed. Now trying to get Ahunanya down. Are they going to call it a knockdown? Yeah, I think it was uh, a good... Ahunanya's hurt. I think it was a good uppercut. He seven, saw, caught him right in the eye. Eight, Maybe a thumb or something. How you doing? You want to go? No, he said he cannot go. And just like that, the tables are turned. Lance Whitaker catches Friday Ahunanya and the head and injures him, and Ahunanya cannot continue. It's a sudden victory, and you know, something was able to get through to him between rounds by Pat Goosen. We talked about how. Lance Whitaker needed to get out of that comfort zone. He can't do it by himself. Well, he found some opening, and he got through to Ahunanya, and instantly this is over. 42 seconds into the fifth round, and Ahunanya made a snap decision right there. I think he could have taken more time, at least maybe tried to get a doctor's timeout, but he himself basically threw the towel in. It looks as if he got hit by, the, by a thumb to make him quit like that. You get hit near the eye area, which is yeah. always a sensitive scenario to begin with. Chris. Also, Chris. he got hit with a good shot. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, you, how much can you take? You, know, you go in there, and if you've been hit by something harder than you're used to, we'll take a look at this as Whitaker out deep, getting ready to fire a shot. Left uppercut comes through. That's an excellent shot. No thumbs. Ahunanya backing up. Whitaker now with some short stuff. Jab going through. Good uppercut there. And that seems to be where he got himself injured. And you know, with, with so many thumbless gloves in existence today, you don't see that thumb argument too much. The body shot and then on top of the head, and he got nailed there. So Ahunanya observed some sudden power from Lance Whitaker. I think just more than he'd ever seen before. Take a look here, Whitaker, nice uppercut. That's a tremendous shot. Ahunanya backed up, and Whitaker just shoveling a couple more in there, and then the right hand forces him to come back. And this is the power aspect, the body shots, and Ahunanya was just on a different plane about how much he could take. So into the corner now, actually not even in his corner, it's right at the spot that he went down. Friday Ahunanya is still being looked at. Michael, I, I didn't see any thumbs, I didn't see any untoward punches except for a little tap after the, the whistle was blown there, but uh, he just got hit with a, a clean shot. Well, if you look at the punch correctly, the punch was up and I don't think it, I don't think it was a solid punch, maybe it was a half punch and a half thumb. You never know because right. you see how Lance throws his punches. 
So and we have to look at that tape real closely. All right. Well, let's go up to ring announcer Damian Pinto for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this one comes to a close at the 42 second mark of round number five. Referee Jorge Alonso puts a stop to the action. Your winner by way of technical knockout and new NABA and NABO heavyweight champion, Lance Mount Whitaker. Maybe not the victory that he wanted, but he'll look back on it and say it's a victory nonetheless. And there you see Friday Ahunanya is back up and on his feet. He is still wincing as though he did get something in his eye, and he did. A big glove from Lance Whitaker. And he does suffer the defeat here. A very disappointed fighter who came in extremely prepared for this. But he's got to take away some knowledge that he belongs in the crowd with the big boys and let's go up to Dave Bon Tempo I think he's got our winner okay thank you Lon Alan you talk about